I want to take you back about 33 years when I was a much younger person. If you can just picture the crowd that was gathered in a housing project, Morningside Homes in Greensboro, North Carolina. We were black, we were white, we were Latino, we were um, all sorts of, of folk there. We were gathered to stand for quality education for all the children in North Carolina. We were also there to push for quality work circumstances in those, te in those textile mills, those tobacco factories, those camp campuses as non-academic employees, and those chicken factories. And we were filled with hope. We were confident that blacks and whites together could really make a difference. So we stood that day for education and for good jobs, as we say now. But unknown to us, our local poli police, as well as federal agents, had colluded with Klan and Nazis, who formed something called the United Racist Front. And they came in a little after 11 o'clock in the morning in a predominantly black housing project. And in 88 seconds, less than a minute and a half, killed five of our dear friends who were just like you guys. And they're still with us as well. And you can imagine the turmoil that was um, wreaked there. And you can find out more about it on our website. I won't go into it all now. Our website is www.belovedcommunitycenter.org. And my grandchildren have taught me. I can tweet and do a few other things. I've been doing that up here. <laughs> um, but you can just imagine what we were experiencing our two children who were seven and eight years old at that time were there, as well as many of the neighborhood kids were there. So we had to just work our way back from that. And you've heard of the kind of hurt and pain that people go through. We went through the same things. Plus, we were the people who thought we were saving our community from so much of this. We were the civil rights and human rights and black power advocates. So for us to be taken down like that, it was really something else. But we worked our way back, thank God. That is the main thing. And we've worked on healing ourselves, healing our children, healing our communities. So that is much of what we now spend our time doing, even as we struggle against those inequities. So what we were faced with, what do you do when the courts, the media, the businesses, the police for sure, even some friends and families who were fearful and didn't understand, hold back. What do you do?